Alright, so Mario Party Superstars just came out a couple of weeks ago, and it is absolutely phenomenal. There is so much to love about this game, from the classic boards and amazing soundtrack, to the huge collection of some of the best minigames out of the entire series. But do you ever wonder which minigames are the best out of the best in this pack? Because I don't know about you, but I sure do. I mean, it's, it's why I'm making this video in the first place. That's right, gamers. Today, I'm going to be ranking all 100 minigames in Mario Party Superstars from the worst to the best. And because there are so many great games in this pack, just keep in mind that a lot of these rankings are going to be based on my personal opinions. Some of them are just objective facts, though. Also, hey, I put a lot of effort into these videos, so if you enjoy this ranking, please do subscribe. It would seriously help out so much, and you'd be able to catch any rankings that I make further down the line. Alright gamers, with that all said, here we go. 100. Tug of War. Man, I love it when playing a minigame physically hurts my hand. Don't you? 99. Castaways. Probably the slowest and most boring minigame here. Plus, Stick Rotation. 98. Archer Rival. Honestly, if it wasn't for Tug of War, Archer Rival would be the worst 1v3 minigame by far. Not only is it incredibly dull for the 3 team, but it's a guaranteed win for the 1 player nearly every single time. 97. Puddle Paddle. Hands down, the worst coin minigame. Really slow, really clunky, and really stupid. 96. Bumper Balls. There's 3 words that perfectly sum this minigame up. It's a tie! 95. Coconut Conk. The barrel moves way too slow to even give the solo player a chance of winning this one. 94. River Raiders. Believe it or not, even 1 vs 3 coin minigames are super unbalanced, as the one player is heavily favored in the slow as heck game, barely leaving any of the three players any coins. On top of that, this one's got incredibly sluggish controls. 93. Cashapult. You might as well just freely hand both sides 20 coins because of how absurdly easy it is to grab all of them here. 92. Spotlight Swim. In this game of water tag, the one player has to avoid getting touched by all three spotlights at the same time while they slowly swim around a pool. Sadly, the minigame gives the three player team such a giant advantage that this one is just straight up broken overall. 91. Spin Doctor. You're put up against a strangely designed maze that's more frustrating to complete than enjoyable. Not sure if this is a hot take, but I find this to be an awful design for a dual minigame. 90. Roll Call. Oh boy, it's time to count! Are you ready kids? Here we go! 1, 2, 3, 89. Goomba Spotting. A slightly better counting minigame that doesn't allow you to count back down, only upwards. This adds a little bit of challenge to it, but not that much, since the Goombas are a whole lot easier to count than the Toads are from Roll Call. 88. Mush Pit. Based way more on luck than skill, and ends up being incredibly short most of the time. Not a big fan of this one. 87. Trapeze Artist. Just like Mush Pit, Trapeze Artist would be great if it wasn't so heavily RNG based. You can get royally screwed over, depending on the colored cage that you get in the arena. 86. Manner of Escape. Man, I gotta say, this Hotel Mario Remaster is looking really, really good! 85. Tackle Takedown. You know, there's a good amount of fun to be had with this one for the 3 full seconds that it lasts. And no, I'm not exaggerating. This minigame really is that short. 84. Mass Meteor. Slow moving asteroids and floaty controls. Not terrible, but not that good either. And a really weird pick for one of the few dual minigames in Mario Party Superstars. 83. Bombs Away. A basic survival game that's just purely okay. Would have been a lot more fun if you could punch and ground pound your opponents here, like in a lot of the other survival games further up on the list. 82. Piranha's Pursuit. Meh, it's alright. I feel like this one is unbalanced in favor toward the one player, and is a pretty free win for them if they're any good at timing. 81. Bounce and Trounce. Similar to bumper balls, except now you're bouncing instead of rolling around, and the floor tiles slowly fall during the match, making the game a whole lot less likely to end in a tie. The controls here are really not that impressive though. Honestly, they feel more laggy and stiff than smooth. 80. Sky Pilots. This is one of those 2 vs 2 minigames that's fun if you're the person steering the plane, but really monotonous if you're the one in the back simply flapping the wings over and over again. 79. Vine With Me. Feels really repetitive and way too easy for a dual minigame. 78. Parasol Plummet. This one is decently fun, but the bland presentation and awkward controls really weigh it down a lot. 
77. Dark and Crispy Like Bombs Away, this Bowser minigame would have been a whole lot better if you can interact with the other players by punching or ground pounding instead of just simply walking around the arena and hoping you don't get hit. 76. Sneak and Snore You're trapped in a barrel and have to slowly move to the button and back without getting eaten by the chain chomp when it wakes up. What's annoying here is that it takes so long for your character to stop and hide after releasing the joystick. Because of that, it's insanely easy to get caught, and 8 times out of 10, this minigame results in a tie. 75. Cheap Cheap Chase Yeah, this one's fine. Not as good as some of the other mashing minigames here, but it's not bad by any means. Could really use some better lighting though. 74. Quicksand Cash Another obviously unbalanced 1 vs 3. If the 3 player team has any crumbs of skill at all, they can easily score big money here, leaving the 1 player with barely anything. 73. Title Toss You're gonna get thrashed around as the 3 player team. Enjoyable, but very weighted in favor of the 1. 72. Skewer Skewery This game looks great aesthetically, but there is way too much delay on the skewers for the solo player to be an actual threat to the other 3. 71. Storm Chasers A simple gardening spree where you run around and get under the rain cloud as much as you can. If you're playing as Donkey Kong though, you instantly win this one because he just body blocks everyone thanks to how big he is. 70. Coney Island I gotta say, Coney Island is really one of the most vanilla minigames here. <laughs> Sixty-nine Shell Soccer So instead of having goals in this soccer game, you have 7 Goombas on each end of the field that you have to knock over to win. It's a pretty entertaining twist on the rules, but I wish the kicks didn't have so much of a delay on them. Makes this minigame turn into a punch fest more than an actual game of soccer. 68 Bumper Balloon Cars Because all the controls are mapped to only the left joystick, driving the car around can feel a bit clunky at times. Even with that minor complaint though, Bumper Balloon Cars is still a lot of fun. 67. Blockstar, a decent puzzle minigame that's a bit short and heavily outshined by the others in this pack. 66. Hammer Drop, run around and collect the coins, see if you can get the most. 65. Money Belts, run around and collect the coins, don't get pushed off by the conveyor belt. 64. Winner or Dinner, run around and collect the coins, everyone's a winner here, oh gosh! 63. Snowball Summit. Similar to Bumper Balls yet again, except a lot more strategy based and way more amusing. If the players are really good, the game can end in a draw more times than not, but it feels way better to control than Bouncing Trouts does. 62. Catch You Letter Very similar to Storm Chasers, but this time around you have to collect letters scattered around the floor and then chase down the shy guy who's wildly running all about. This added mechanic not only makes this minigame more entertaining, but also makes it a whole lot more fair, as simply body blocking Shy Guy won't win you the game like it would in Storm Chasers. I'm looking at you, you stupid baboon! 61. Mecha Marathon Your standard button mashing minigame with a great day at the races presentation. Simple, but enjoyable. 60. Pokey Pummel Another mash the button the fastest game that's incredibly engaging and has got a great theme. Honestly, it feels so fun to just whack the crap out of a pokey with a hammer. 59. Balloon Burst Button mashing, but with a friend this time. 58. Rocky Road Ditto, but here you can hurt your own teammates, which is hilarious. 57. Dungeon Dash It's all about coordination between you and your teammate. 56. Crazy Cutters This one's good. It controls well for a film the line minigame and has got a good amount of charm. It just doesn't really do anything too special. 55. Hide and Sneak an amusing, simple game of hide and seek. It's fairly even between the 1 and 3 player teams as well, which is a huge bonus. 54. Ice Rink Risk Here you've got to avoid all the spiny shells while running on ice. Seems pretty simple, but the task gets crazy difficult after a while. 53. Pit Boss Pretty much just like Ice Rink Risk, except without any of the slipperiness and a whole lot cooler thematically. 52. Honeycomb Havoc Even though it's kind of rigged based on the turn order, Honeycomb Havoc is still a good time. It really boils down to a matter of who do you want to screw over more, which is extremely amusing and ruthless in a game against your friends. 51. Beach Volley Folly It's got good controls, but honestly, I don't even know why I put this one here. I hate volleyball. 50. Rockin' Raceway Not my favorite of the racing minigames, but not bad by any means. There's a nice mix of strategy and timing with this stamina-based sprint, but the silly idea and setting are easily this one's strongest traits. 49. Bobsled Run Great combination of mashing and coordination between you and your partner. The fact that you don't respond if you fall off the slide is brutally punishing though. 
48. Hand Car Havoc Another fun 2 vs 2 minigame revolving around constantly mashing the A button and steering your cart. Way more intense than Bobsled Run. 47. Boulder Ball Here you've got to climb up a slope as the 3 team while the 1 player pushes down giant boulders to keep you from getting up. It's a simple premise, but a good amount of fun, and surprisingly well balanced between the two teams. 46. X-Ray Payday A surprisingly interesting coin minigame that tests how much you can focus on at once. It's pretty easy to do well in though. 45. Nightlight Fright Doesn't do anything too crazy, but it's a well designed wait until the last second minigame that simply just asks one question. How much are you willing to risk for the win? 44. Dizzy Dancing You've got to run around a table and grab musical notes while fighting against inverted joystick controls. Gotta say, I'm so glad this minigame doesn't last for only 3 seconds this time around. Makes it a whole lot more enjoyable. 43. Flash Forward It's just basically Sloparazzi from Super Mario Party, except only one photo instead of multiple. Now don't get me wrong, it's fun in its own right, but it is a little too short and abrupt. 42. Look Away The mind games that you play with your opponents are the true appeal here. Truly a shame that Look Away is fairly difficult for the one player to win though. 41. Dinger Derby I suck at this one, but it's still really good. 40. Hot Rope Jump If you're a fan of jump rope, then you'll have a great time here. 39. Burn Style Jump rope again, but this time in teams and at a much faster pace than before. 38. Goal! That's goal with 7 O's, mind you. Uh, honestly, it should have been 10 O's because that's how many goals the three players need to make to win. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, anyways, this one's pretty good. 37. Picking Panic Timing is everything here, and I'm not exaggerating. Things can go either incredibly well or incredibly poorly for your team, and it's that uncertainty that adds to the charm of this game. 36. Later Skater The most chaotic racing minigame here, and I'm all for it. Good stuff. 35. Etch and Catch A bit clunky on the controls, but very creative and pretty enjoyable nonetheless. 34. Cake Factory Probably the hardest 2 vs 2 minigame, but that's not a bad thing. You'll really want to get used to the timing with this one, because one wrong swing could mess up your entire rhythm for the rest of the game. 33. Ice Hockey A really short and sweet rendition of the classic sport of ice hockey. Enjoy this one way more than the other two sport minigames here. 32. Paint Misbehaving Splatoon? In Mario Party? No way! Oh, and bonus points go to this one for having the second best ending screen out of the whole collection, only barely beaten by winner or dinner. 31. Tube it or lose it. There's mind games galore with this incredible 1v3. It's all about faking the other players out by getting your movement to be as unpredictable as you can. But the game is also relatively balanced between the two teams, especially more so than look away. 30. Paths of Peril. It's the definition of risk it for the biscuit, and a great minigame in general. No question about it. 29. What goes up must keep going up if you want to win big here. Overall though, it's a slightly worse version of Leaf Leap. 28. Leaf Leap This great reaction based platforming race has you jumping on leaves to get the highest that you can in a limited amount of time. Don't want to take it too fast though, cause you could end up jumping to the wrong leaf and falling down a long ways. That balance of risk and reward meshed with the presentation makes Leaf Leap one of the best in this game. 27. Stick and Spin A great take on the classic match to win puzzle genre that's very engaging and very fun. But be warned, if you play this one, you're gonna be in for the long haul. First and second match I did of this game took like 7 minutes, and the third one was almost 15 minutes long. It's exceptionally lengthy, so you kinda have to go out of your way to play it. 26. Reverse a bomb. Are you good at multitasking? If not, then you're gonna have a bit of trouble here, as Reverse a bomb puts your task management skills to the test with fast paced gameplay and amazing mind games between you and the other team. 25. Motor Rooter. Now this, this is a good dual minigame. I love how fast paced it is, the controls are incredibly solid, and it's got the right balance of intensity throughout. Very well suited for a 1 vs 1. 24. Monty's Revenge This twist on the classic whack-a-mole game is not only creative, but it's brilliantly fast paced, very amusing, and tons of fun. 23. Pushy Penguins The penguins are out for revenge for all the times that you threw their babies off of the cliff in Super Mario 64. Try not to get pushed off into the icy waters and float away freezing to your death. Good luck! 22. Shy Guy Says This ruthless reflex test has endured the tests of time and emerged as one of the most iconic Mario Party minigames out of them all, and for good reason. Not only is it surprisingly intense, but the silly setting and hilarious outcomes make it so much more enjoyable. 21. Eats a Pizza If you had the biggest pizza in the world, could you eat all of it? 
Mario and his friends could, and this minigame proves it. An insanely creative take on the mashing buttons genre, Eats a Pizza is pure fun. I mean, it's pizza. How can you not love pizza, bro? Come on now. 20. Tread carefully. The fluid control system on the tanks really helps tread carefully end up as a great and incredibly fair free-for-all. 19. Slot Car Derby. As we all know, Mario's always been the master of racing, and even Slot Car Derby is no exception. The controls here feel so gosh dang responsive, and the multiple racetracks really flesh the game out. This is the best way to make a racing minigame simple and short, yet really fun and intense at the same time. 18. Squared Away. Brilliant, well designed, well balanced, amazing aesthetics, and tons of fun. 17. Speed Hockey. A huge step up from the air hockey minigame in Wii Play, mainly because this one actually works. And it's fun! Speed Hockey lets you get really strategic with your buddies through the genius use of the paddles. And the best part is that the puck gets faster with every hit, allowing you and your teammate to lob some crazy shots if you can parry it enough times between each other. 16. Chip Shot Challenge I've always been a fan of golf, and Chip Shot Challenge does an amazing job of transforming this beloved sport into a fun, fast-paced free-for-all with great controls and fantastic presentation. I really like that the hole is in a random spot every time too. Adds a lot to the replayability of this one. 15. Bill Blasters 14. TikTok Hop The best duel game out of the collection, hands down. The clock can really throw you for a loop with its switch ups, but that's one of the best parts of it, alongside the great setting and theming. 13. Mushroom Mix Up you cannot deny that Mushroom Mix-Up is an absolute classic, one of the best survival Mario Party games of all time. It's simple, but very well designed, and it can ramp up the intensity quickly when you get far enough, which I'm all here for. 12. Snow World This button mashing game goes above and beyond with not only its presentation, but also its mechanics. Instead of being judged on only mashing one or two buttons together, you've got to press all four of the A, B, Y, and X buttons in that exact order as fast as you can which adds a whole nother level of skill and pattern learning to this one. 11. Tipsy Tourney So I don't know if this one's a fan favorite overall, but I personally love this puzzle game. It's a brilliant twist on the reveal the tiles genre, where you have to guide a Koopa shell across a painting making it hit every single tile to finish the picture. The movement on the shell is buttery smooth and always feels responsive to the shift in weight on the board. Overall, I think Tipsy Tourney is just pure fun and very fair all around. 10. The Final Countdown even better than Mushroom Mix-Up, the final countdown has you fighting the other players on a board of numbered tiles that are constantly taking down, dropping from beneath you whenever they hit zero. This is the craziest survival game in the pack, is among the fiercest survival games as well, and it's hands down one of the best survival games too. 9. Mario's Puzzle Party It's literally just fast-paced Tetris, but as a Mario Party minigame. How are you not gonna love this one? 8. Pogo A Go Go this minigame is bursting with creativity, and it would have gotten high ranking if purely for the idea and presentation alone. But thankfully, Pogo A Go Go is not only extremely fun for both sides, but it might be the most balanced 1v3 minigame here, elevating it to one of the absolute best games out of the whole selection. 7. Trace Race Bro, now this is an amazing free-for-all. It was such a genius idea to combine the film the line genre with an intense race that you can't fall too far behind on, lest you start messing up and that combination is wonderfully paired with an incredible presentation and setting. 6. Messy Memory While memory games can often be bland and forgettable, Messy Memory is exceptionally well designed. It's simple enough to where you won't feel overwhelmed, yet challenging enough to where you won't get it completely right all the time. And the fact that you can hide your own screen at any time so that the others can't cheat off of it is a genius inclusion that shows how much thought went into this one. 5. Bowser's Big Blast a comically hilarious yet super tense free-for-all that always has players on the edge of their seats. There's a reason it's been included in four, count them, four different Mario Party games across the entire series, and it hasn't aged one bit. Four, Rapid River Race. This phenomenal minigame not only controls very well, but it heavily rewards your skill and timing. Being able to choose your own speed in this heated race is a great gamble, because going the fastest might win you the game, but it also might cost you everything. Plus, this game looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the water. Have you ever seen such good looking water ever before in video game history? No, you haven't. 3. Facelift, Raw, Fire, Heek Fiction, one of the greatest of all time. 2. Book Squirm. Okay, I mean, come on, how could I not put this one this high in the ranking? Everyone knows this mini game is a classic, a banger, insanely fun. 
and this is a bit of personal bias speaking, but I don't think it is quite the best minigame in this collection, although I do think it comes incredibly close. That's right, the one minigame that I think is barely better than Book Squirm is in fact Dungeon Duos, which is also what I truly believe to be the best minigame in Mario Party Superstars. This 2v2 minigame has so much variety to it, so much creativity, so much skill involved, and yet it never feels unfair, it never gets old, and it's always a blast to play. The presentation, the layout, the brilliant combinations of mashing, platforming, timing, guessing bro, it's just all so good. And the best part of Dungeon Duos is that it strikes the perfect balance between length and difficulty. You'll often be tripping and failing at these challenges, and yet you'll never fall too far behind to miraculously pull a comeback. Dungeon Duos is, in my opinion, the most fleshed out and enjoyable minigame in Mario Party Superstars, and I'm so glad they included it here when it was given the cold shoulder in the top 100, because this generational celebration wouldn't feel right without it.